Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me, Bob D Dragon. Today we're gonna be playing some more high pixel skyblock. But today, uh we're gonna it's actually also do me a... too. Oh god, it's Chris, yeah. Uh but we're also gonna be doing a sort of how to video for you guys. Now you guys might have heard of these things. They're called uh scrolls. And as you can see in my inventory over here, we we, we got a lot of them. So basically you're like, how do I get these scrolls that can help me get places like really quickly and all that? So I'm going to show you guys how to get all the free ones in this video. Some of them I had to buy like from auction house because I didn't have the recipes yet. But we'll go through that all in this video. Also, when you have stupid portals like this, god dang stupid sh like this, like, <laughs> oh my god, I hate this sometimes. Here are the travel scrolls we're going to be showing today. Uh, I forget half of their recipes, but we'll figure it out along the way. Also, why are these cocoa beans look like crap? Weird. Uh, so yeah, going down the list, we have Spider's Den, Blazing Fortress, Barn, The End, The Gold Mine, The Park, The Deep Caverns, and Mushroom Island. So you can make all these for free, and you can use them yourselves. It, you don't need a rank or anything. The only ones that require rank are any of the epic ones that spawn you in specific places like the crypt ghouls or the top of the dragon's nest all that so all of these that you can make actual like portals for you can make their travel scrolls which i have desperately been needing to make this travel scroll for the deep caverns and for the spiders and since as you can see our portals are actually kind of cracked out of their mind okay guys so starting it off with the travel scroll to the spiders then we're gonna need two stacks of enchanted flint and a stack of enchanted ender pearls. Go into your crafting table and we're gonna need 16 around each of the sides like this. And so there's a middle spot and you're gonna put the ender enchanted ender pearls in the middle. Now this should get you the item, but I do not have the recipe. recipe. So I had to get someone else to make this for me whilst providing them the materials. So yeah, that is how you create the spider's den and Let's get into the next one here. The travel scroll to the Blazing Fortress. We're going to need two stacks of enchanted glowstone dust and enchanted ender pearls. You want one stack of that. We're going to put 16 on the outside like the last one for spiders. Then put 16 ender pearls in the middle. And there you go. You got the travel scroll to the Blazing Fortress. Next up, guys, we got travel scroll to the barn. This one is one of the easier ones to get just because potatoes and carrots so you're gonna need a stack and 16 enchanted potatoes and then 48 enchanted carrots along with 16 ender pearls so basically the enchanted potatoes you want along the bottom like this 16 all along the bottom and then the carrots you want 16 for the three top squares and put the ender pearls in the middle and that will get you the travel scroll to the barn next up we got the travel scroll to the end this one will be made out of some enchanted end stone and enchanted obsidian along with your average enchanted ender pearls you're gonna need enchanted ender pearls for all of these so i'd recommend getting a lot of those oh also sure you're doing so the travel scroll to the end basically is the same way as the barn you're gonna want to put 16 for the enchanted end stone on the bottom and 16 for the three top ones of obsidian and put your ender pearls in the middle and there you go you got the travel scroll to the end Next up on the list, we got the travel scroll to the gold mine. Now this one is a little less desirable, mainly because you have to get enchanted gold for it, which I know with Diana and all of the mythical creatures and stuff like that, it's needed for getting your griffin pet up. But for a travel scroll, it's pretty good because you need a stack and 16 enchanted gold and 48 iron. I'm gonna show you guys the crafting recipe here. So you just put 16 along the bottom like this in like an upside down like helmet basically and then you want 16 across the top for enchanted iron and in the middle you want the enchanted ender pearl and there you go you got the travel scroll to the gold mine now we got our third to last travel scroll it is the travel scroll to the park this one i think is useful because you need the park for foraging it's a really good place for foraging but it does take some of your foraging woods as in you need two stacks of enchanted birch wood and then the ender pearls again so we're gonna put the two stacks in this pattern oh i kind of messed up the pattern 
So we got 16 all around the outside edges and then in the middle a hole for the enchanted ender pearl. There you go. You got your travel scroll to the park. Okay guys, we are on to the next one. We are almost done with the crafting recipes for all of these. The, la the second to last one is the travel scroll to the deep caverns, which is gonna cost a little more uh, compared to a lot of these, except for maybe the enchanted birchwood and the enchanted obby, but it's gonna cost some lapis lazuli you're going to want to get a stack and 16 of that enchanted and then 48 enchanted redstone and then your ender pearls now the same recipe for like half of these you're going to want to do the upside down helmet out of the lapis lazuli put the ender pearls in the middle and along the top you're going to want to put 16 enchanted redstone all along there and you'll get your travel scroll to the deep caverns so go have fun like mining away in the dwarven mines and all that with this scroll now last but not least we got the travel scroll to the mushroom island now this one i also personally do not have the recipe for it so i provided the materials for one of my other friends to do it it basically costs a lot of cocoa bean farming which i have not done so i do not have the recipe up but basically the recipe is going to call for 48 enchanted cocoa beans and then a stack and 16 cactus green enchanted and then the ender pearls of course now you're going to want to make the upside down helmet with the enchanted uh, cactus green and then in the middle you want enchanted ender pearls along with the top three being 16 enchanted cocoa beans and uh, the recipe should be here. Okay guys, as you can see we have all the scrolls in my inventory which I actually haven't equipped any of these so we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go into the star here and as you can see in my fast travel I do not have any of these unlocked at all. So this is going to be my first time. I've been waiting for this video for so long so I could do this. Because, yeah, again, these didn't work. So we're going to just do all of the scrolls. There we go. We got Spider's Den, Blazing Fortress. Uh, the next one's to the barn. Travel scroll to the end. Travel scroll to the gold mine. Travel scroll to the park. Travel scroll to the deep caverns. Last but not least, travel scroll to the mushroom island. Or mushroom That's desert. GG. And Chris decides to just pop up at the end. But there we go, guys. As we can see in my fast travel here, we got all of these now unlocked and I can use them. Uh, let's check out like deep caverns. There we go. And after like 10 minutes. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the craftable recipes for all of those and it will hopefully make your lives a lot easier to actually travel places because then whenever you guys have the same issue as us yeah. where your portals decide to do one in a million and not break the portal blocks then you'll be able to flash travel places because game needs to be fit peace out from Bobsy Dragon I gotta go continue to mine because I gotta get Heart of the Mountain 3 and the Mithril Golem yeah doot, doot. sorry that's supposed to be where the <laughs> outro is but that's like my note that the outro's there so yeah yeah no, <laughs>